We roll. Okay. Okay. Um, we're here uh, following Murray State's uh, 67 58 win over Bradley. We're a big game for Brian Moore. Uh, 10 points for him uh, here tonight uh, on 4 4 from the free throw line. So great win for the racers. And Brian can take your questions at this time. How the field is doing from the hometown. Man, I felt, felt amazing, man. You know, we got a crazy atmosphere here. You know, they love their races here. You know, that's one of the reasons why I came here. So, you know, it was definitely, it felt real good, you know, getting a, getting a good dub in front of these loving fans. Right. Because we've kind of been waiting for this one for you uh, all season. Like you said, to do it in front of the home crowd, I'm sure it feels amazing. Um, what was it about tonight that just kind of got you going? Yeah, uh, our coaches and our uh, teammates, you know, just been on me constantly, you know, stay confident, you know, your moments will come sooner or later. You know, I just stick to the plan, you know, stick to the process. That's one thing. Coach Prone been emphasizing to me is that, you know, coming from Juco, that's going to be a process, man. It's going to be some ups and downs. So, you know, they just stayed with me and they kept their confidence in me since day one. Right now, you seem like you're playing with a lot of confidence. What's What's been the difference? Oh, uh, man, you know, just just knowing what I got, I, what I could bring to this team. And, you know, my teammates need me and my coaches need me. You know, it's not about just playing for me. It's about playing for the name on the back, on the front of my jersey. So, you know, that's, that's all I've just been thinking about. You know, my teammates need me. That leads me to another question here. I think it's maybe midway to the first half. Kobe's hit uh, thing with a couple of free throws. You go over to Coach Prone. Mm -hmm. You guys are having a big conversation. You're pointing at stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say what it was, but that's got to make you feel pretty good that you can approach him during a game and discuss something like that. Yeah, man, he's a real mellow coach. You know, he don't – he hold everybody to the same standard. So, you know, anybody could come talk to him, whether it's people that play 40 minutes or five minutes. So, you know, i just seen some things on the court. That I was talking to him about that I seen, you know, offensively that we kind of did different. And he listened. So and right for that, y'all went on the run. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, you know, your stats maybe aren't you're not always filling stats. That's not, I guess, your thing, but whenever you're out there, it feels like your presence alone is gonna help the team. And like he said, whenever you went out there, you talked to Coach Pro, you guys went on that big run defensively, you were doing a lot. Is that kind of what your game has been leading you to? Yeah, man, that's 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 just what my role is right now. You know, just be a pass, you know, play the passing lanes, you know, guard the point, the opposite team's point guard, you know, just try to make it help for them every night in and out. So that's my job for me. Time for one more, man. All right, I'm gonna go here. You took it on the inside. You're you're not the biggest guy in the world. That's gotta take some bravery to do that against a team like this. Yeah, yeah. Now that's that's kind of my my game. I'm a downhill guard. So, you know, I like getting to the rim, you know, getting to the basket and get him some free throws. So, all right. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate yeah. you guys, man. Thank you, Brian. Sure. Good to you. Thank you. <coughs> and then, uh, DJ Burns, he got a double double with that last uh, rebound there that sealed it for the Racers. That's his uh, fourth career double double and his third this season. Uh, so, for uh, DJ, Six of 11 for the field, 16 points and 10 rebounds. And he can take your questions at this time. I guess tonight was the night you were going to school, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that was the night. Um, you know, like I said, and I tell you guys all the time, you know, whatever the team need me to do to win, that's what I'm willing to do. So tonight was scoring and rebounding. So that's what I did. You're taking on a guy who's a little bigger than you are, too. Uh, it didn't seem like that really mattered to you. Oh, man, heart wins. Heart wins in any battle, you know. Um, it's been a tough week. Uh, coach, you know, stressed us, even though not being chillax uh, after the Emsville game, being ready and being prepared for Bradley game. So, uh, man, the team just talked to me, and uh, Coach Prone talked to me uh, before the game, and he, he said, this, this is the game I need you. You know, I have Jamar, so I had to do what I had to do for the team. You said you guys need to be prepared. Um, it was a slow start in the first couple of minutes. You feel yeah. like you guys were prepared, or did you feel like it took a minute to be prepared? Oh, we was prepared. Uh, Coach Prom does a great job of that every time, all the time. I don't have a phone. I'm never scared of not being prepared. Um, it's just letting the game set in. Um, understanding our matchups, like uh, Coach Prom stresses, this is a new uh, conference. This is different teams that we're playing against. So um, we're not really familiar with uh, most teams. And, you know, a lot of times this is Murray's first time playing these teams. So um, it's just a, a minute of getting adjusted. And uh, once we, you know, kind of seen uh, what a competing battle was, we saw what our advantage was and we took advantage of it.
What was it like seeing Justin and Sam come in and get those quality minutes for tonight? I love seeing my freshman play, man, especially <laughs> Sam, my little brother. But Jamal, man, Jamal's been playing great lately. And uh, I'm really appreciative of that because uh, not too many teams in America have freshmen like that, great freshmen. Um, uh, you know, one of those teams that that's uh, lucky to have those. So, man, whenever those freshmen come in and play big, uh, yeah, I'm so excited for them. Yeah, Justin comes in and gets a rebound almost within the first minute of coming in. Yeah, that's something about that. That's not trust my rebounds, but uh, I'm just playing, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, no, me and Jim will talk about that all the time. And, uh, it's a credit to him. You know, it's not an easy job. And especially as a freshman coming in and understanding your role, and that's what Justin does a fabulous job of. So, uh, man, credit to him and his character um, because uh, not too many freshmen willing to, you know, sacrifice what they do. Uh, it's a, you know, rebound and do the tough plays. And he does that all the time. DJ, I'm going to go back to when I asked Brian about when he went over and had a conversation with Steve. Anyone of y'all can do that because yeah. y'all got that kind of relationship with him. Yeah, right? Coach Prom stresses that, you know, um, from day one of the job before anybody was signed uh, to the team. DJ, I want everybody to know. I want you to know. My uh, office is always open, and it always will be, um, even after. And uh, players that transferred, it, it, every scenario, Coach Palm is still and will always be most coaches, I mean, most players' favorite coach. That's also um, during the game, it looks like. Always, always man. Uh, you know, he's he stresses that himself. Uh, you know, early in the season, Coach Palm got a technical, and uh, he came in the locker room, and he was mad at himself. And he was like, man, fellas, I can't do that. Um, I'm a mellow guy. That's not me. And, uh, man, when he's mellow, it, it makes me mellow because everybody knows about my energy. So, uh, man, it, it's good having a coach like that on your side. What was it the first half that allowed you guys to go on that run and kind of take that lead? Um, man, credit to Bradley, but uh, just the will. Um, the will to do what we do and do it good, which is defending. Um, man, not losing the rebound in battle because credit to Bradley. Bradley's a great rebound the team. Um, don't get me wrong, they had a couple of big rebounds at the end, but I mean, for the most part, I'm, I'm more than proud of the team just for the effort they did of that. Um, man, they're, they're a well-rounded all the way around team. And for us to come in and play the way we did, I couldn't be proud of the team. One thing I, I noticed about you tonight was there, there were times where it seemed to be getting a little chippy or, you know, the officials, maybe there was a call that somebody didn't like. You you went over, calmed the guy down, but then you you were setting up for him. You were kind of doing some arguing there as yeah. well, it seemed like. Oh, that's my role. That, that's what I do on the team. Um, I'm the tough guy. I'm the one that's going to handle all situations like that. Y'all just play basketball. And uh, I, I let the players know, and I let Coach Prom know that I got his back on the court. I'm Coach Prom on the court besides the point guard. So, <laughs> <you know. laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, DJ. Appreciate it. <laughs>